hope everyone is fine okay so what we are going to discuss on we are going to discuss confidence in travel and already this is concept number 4 we have started talking about in the video lecture and this is case number 1 so we'll try to understand what was case number 1 case number 1 mein hota hai ki if the distribution is normal distribution distribution is normal population variance bhi jo hai hamare paas known hai or sample can be of any size small or large sample can be of any size small or large to hum uska confidence interval nikal lenge for that population mean okay so we can find out confidence interval for that population mean already ye with ka formula hai jo ki abhi aaj apply karenge and also the confidence interval ka jo parameters find karne hote hain uska bhi formula applicable hai yahan par what we need to understand ki hamare paas jo case number 2 hai jo ki main niche likh deta hu ki sir what when we talk about case number 2 so case number 2 basically discusses ke case number 2 ka apply hoga ke iska opposite hoga case number 2 so sir when we talk about case number 2 what needs to happen is basically sir case number 2 mein kya hoga students ke sir in case number 2 the distribution is not normal definitely x can be any distribution so we can write it down ke the distribution x is not normal the distribution is not normal so x is not normal similarly sample size will be large okay sample size jo hai wo large hoga to iska opposite agar aap dekhe ke case number 1 mein it is the possibility ki hamara sample size jo hai wo kuch bhi ho sakta hai small or large but case number 2 case number 1 ke liye sample size can be any sir small bhi ho sakta hai large bhi ho sakta hai but what we need to understand for case 2 ke sir sample size jo hai wo large hi hoga theek hai sample size should be large aur wahan par x jo hai wo not normal distribution hoga एक्स जो है बेसिकली वो नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नहीं होगा एंड द थर्ड थिंग विल बी के व्हाट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड कि यहाँ पर जो है पॉपुलेशन वेरिएंस यहाँ पर भी नोन होगा ये कॉमन ये कॉमन पैरामीटर है कि सर पॉपुलेशन वेरिएंस जो है वो नोन होगा ठीक है सर पॉपुलेशन वेरियंस जो है वो यहाँ पर भी नोन होगा ठीक है तो ये जो है वो हमारा केस नंबर टू हो जाता है कि पॉपुलेशन वेरियंस दैट विल बी नोन हेयर ओके गॉड इट गाइज क्लियर तो ये मैंने एक केस नंबर टू को इस फॉर्म में लिख दिया तो लेट्स ट्राई टू अप्लाई केस नंबर टू कॉन्सेप्ट व्हिच इज बेसिकली दिस क्वेश्चन दैट इज फेब्रुवरी मार्च 2019 क्वेश्चन हियर वी गो ठीक है तो वी हैव स्टूडेंट्स अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ फेब्रुवरी मार्च 2019 जिसमें हमारा केस नंबर टू अप्लाई हो रहा है एंड वी कैन से दिस इज द सेम कांसेप्ट ये कांसेप्ट नंबर 4 ही है दैट इज कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल बट वी कैन से दिस इज 4.2 4.1 इज केस नंबर 1 दिस इज 4.2 that is february march 2019 and paper 7 variant 2 question number 1 which we can say it's basically confidence interval question as well so we'll again learn that how we have to find the confidence interval aap confidence interval kaise find karna hota hai to wo bhi hum learning karenge plus main thing is the conceptual understanding that we are talking about okay so here we go sir we can clearly read the question that the masses of a certain variety of plums are known to have standard deviation so they are telling us that the masses of the certain variety of plums are known to have standard deviation yeah they haven't discussed anything about normal distribution they are not saying anything about the normal distribution agar hum jo previous like question ki baat kare jo humne discuss kiya tha ya jisme humne dekha tha ke if you remember that question it was basically this one so jo concept number 4.1 tha usme properly mentioned tha ke in the blue highlighter if you can see or i'll put this in the bracket ke it was already mentioned ये नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन है कॉन्सेप्ट नंबर वन में केस वन में ऑलरेडी मेंशन था कि ये नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन है जो मैंने कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल फाइंड किया था तो ये जो फेब्री मार्च का क्वेश्चन है 2019 यहां पर क्लियरली मेंशन नहीं है कि नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन है दैट इज वाई सर केस टू अप्लाई होगा सैंपल साइज शुड बी लार्ज सैंपल देख सकते हैं सर टू ऑफ दीज प्लम्स है एंड द मीन मास जो हमारे पास पॉपुलर मीन होगा मीन गिवन है दैट इज सिक्सटी टू हमारे पास पॉपुलेशन मीन इज गिवन ऑलरेडी ठीक है जी So next we have to calculate a 95% confidence interval for the population mean mass. Okay, so we have to for three marks calculate sir, con 98% confidence interval for the population mean mass that we have to calculate for basically the three marks. Okay, so how we are going to find this? First thing will be that sir, we the sample size is basically 200. Okay, so sample is 200, and we have 98% confidence interval. तो ये केस नंबर टू हो रहा है एवरीथिंग इज मैचिंग हियर के एक्स नॉर्मल नहीं है सैंपल साइज लार्ज है और पॉपुलेशन का वेरिएंस भी नोन है 
that is basically population standard deviation given hai to hum variance already calculate kar sakte hain so what we need to understand to pehle to yahi ho jayega sir ki pehle hum isko what concept according to this hum isko jo humne central limit theorem padha tha to yahan par sir central limit theorem ka concept aa jayega ki according to central limit theorem aap isko normal distribution bana sakte hain theek hai to follow very carefully if x is not following a normal distribution and the sample size is large प्लस जो है एक्स कन्वर्ट किया जा सकता है तो इट विल बी सर के एक्स विल फॉलो इसको हम पहले नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन में कन्वर्ट करेंगे ओके प्लीज मेक टू म्यूट योर माइक ओके सो एक्स फॉलोज जो है वो नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हो जाएगा जहां पर हम यही कहेंगे कि भाई ये मीन हो गया वी हैव द मीन और फिर ये हो जाएगा कि वॉट वी हैव इज बेसिकली द मीन एंड द स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन द वेरियंस ओवर द स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई द सैम्पल साइज जो हमारा फॉर्मूला है एक्स बार के लिए सैम्पल मीन के लिए जब x के ऊपर बार आ जाता है वो सैंपल मीन होता है सर तो x बार फॉलोज नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मीन एंड वेरिएंस डिवाइडेड बाय द नंबर ऑफ n ओके तो इसका हम इसका फॉर्मूला क्या बन जाएगा स्टूडेंट्स इसका फॉर्मूला बेसिकली बन जाएगा सर कि जो भी हमारा x बार है जो कि मीन है तो हम उसको यूज करेंगे तो टोटल भी सर के x बार के x के जो बार की वैल्यू है जो कि हमारे पास 62.3 यहां लिख देते हैं कि सर x बार की वैल्यू है जो पॉपुलेशन मीन है उसके हमने कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल निकालना है तो मेन मास ये या नोट डाउन भी कर सकते हैं सर कि इट्स रिटर्न ऑलरेडी हेयर कि द मेन मास ऑफ द प्लम्स सैंपल का जो मीन है वो 62.3 ग्राम्स है सो वी ऑलरेडी हैव द मीन सर द मीन ऑफ द प्लम्स ऑफ द सैंपल इज 62.3 एंड वी कैन से दैट द वेरिएंस इज बेसिकली 13.2 होल स्क्वायर ओके स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन गिवन है तो 13.2 होल स्क्वायर जो हमारा वो हो जाएगा इट विल बी के एक्स माइनस द जेड वैल्यू हमें जेड वैल्यू निकालनी पड़ेगी जो कि 98 परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल की वैल्यू होगी एक्स माइनस द जेड वैल्यू टाइम्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन जो कि हमारे पास ऑलरेडी है जैसे 13.2 है सर स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन डिवाइड बाय दी सैंपल साइज और इस पे स्क्वायर रूट एन होगा बिकॉज ये डिवाइड होगा सही है तो इट विल बी डिवाइडेड बाई स्क्वायर रूट एन द अदर वन विल बी एक्स बार प्लस जेड टाइम्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन डिवाइडेड बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एन तो ये हमारा फॉर्मूला हो गया हमने सर ये वर्कआउट करना है तो लेट्स क्विकली वर्कआउट फर्स्ट द बेसिक वैल्यूज तो ये हो जाएगा सर 62.3 माइनस द जेड वैल्यूज टाइम्स ऑफ 13.2 स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन डिवाइडेड बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ 200 सैंपल्स कॉमा 62.3 अपर लिमिट एंड द लोअर लिमिट अभी अपर लिमिट फाइंड करें ये सर मैं वैल्यूज पुट कर रहा हूँ वहां जो मैंने लेफ्ट हैंड राइट हैंड साइड पे लिखी है स्टूडेंट स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन थर्टीन है सर एन इज द सैम्पल साइज तो 200 वो भी लिख दिया अब से हमने जेड की वैल्यू फाइंड करनी वो अभी हम सेपरेटली फाइंड कर लेते हैं दैट इज फॉर द कॉन्फिडेंस इन ट्रेवल ऑफ 98 परसेंट ओके सो हेयर वी गो जस्ट जेड की वैल्यू पुट करेंगे एंड विल गेट द आंसर सो लेट्स डू द वर्किंग फॉर द जेड हेयर ओके नाउ व्हाट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इज बेसिकली के विल बी कि हमें 98 परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस इन ट्रेवल को अंडरस्टैंड करने के लिए कि सर वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू फॉर द 98 परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल सो इट विल बी वेरी सिंपल स्टूडेंट्स के 98 परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल फ्रॉम बोथ साइड्स करेंगे तो इट विल बी सर दिस इज 98 परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल एंड लेफ्ट हैंड साइड पे राइट हैंड साइड पे इट विल बी सेम वैल्यूज ओके सो इट विल बी सर 98 परसेंट इज हेयर तो यू कैन से दैट दिस इज वन परसेंट स्टूडेंट एंड दिस विल बी वन परसेंट मेक इट हंड्रेड परसेंट प्रॉबिलिटी मिडल में फ्रॉम बोथ साइड सेमेट्रिक वैल्यू होती है Which is will be called can ninety eight percent confidence interval is this? So how will we find that z value? Students, we need to understand. कि हमें ये देखना पड़ेगा कि यहाँ पर सर probability है zero point nine nine. Okay. So what we need to understand, students, in the highlighter कि यहाँ से लेकर यहाँ तक जो probability होगी blue color में follow करेगा. This probability is sir zero point nine nine from to the left hand side because this probability is zero point zero one. Okay. Let me do it in the dark color. कि दिस प्रोबेबिलिटी इज बेसिकली वन परसेंट जो है वो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन प्रॉबिलिटी है तो रिमेनिंग इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन हेयर तो वेन द प्रोबिलिटी इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन वॉट विल बी द जेड वैल्यू कमिंग यू कैन फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम योर स्टेटिस्टिक्स टेबल तो विल गो टू द स्टेटिस्टिक्स टेबल एंड देर इज क्रिटिकल वैल्यूज अवेलेबल हेयर वेन द प्रोबिलिटी इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन स्टूडेंट्स ओके सर वेन द प्रोबिलिटी इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन द जेड वैल्यू इज कमिंग टू पॉइंट थ्री टू सिक्स ओके When the probability is zero point nine nine, sir, the z value is coming two point three two six. So here we go. That is done. Two point three two six. The question gets completed. Just plug in the value. Sixty two point three minus two point three two six times of thirteen point two 
divided by so divided by square root two hundred. Sir, won't you won't you want to multiply the z value by 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 two? No, 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 no. ये width थोड़ी निकाल ले. ये width थोड़ी निकाल ले. तो confidence interval का question करें ना. हम width नहीं निकाल ले. वो width में होगा. ठीक है? Okay. That thing will be in the width thing. ना. इसमें multiply नहीं करते. Okay. Okay. Got the point? ये z value आ गया. यही use करेंगे. Okay. Understanding? So we'll get yes, the answer. Whatever is coming in the calculator, the first one will be sixty-two point three minus uh, sixty-two point three minus uh, three-two point three-two-six into sir thirteen point two divided by of square root two hundred. So I'm getting the value as we have to give to one decimal place as well. So it will be sixty point one coming. The lower value of the population mean. The population ka jo mean hai, wo basically agar sample ka mean sixty-two point three hai. तो हमारे पास 98 परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल है कि 98 परसेंट प्रोबेबिलिटी है कि जो पॉपुलेशन का मीन होगा वो 60.1 होगा एवरीवन गेटिंग इट लोअर लिमिट 60.1 होगा या अपर लिमिट जो हो जाएगी वो इसी का हायर वैल्यू होगी कि 62.3 प्लस तो वो 64.5 हो जाएगा गेटिंग इट गाइस तो इसको अगर इंटरप्रटेशन भी आपने अंडरस्टैंड करनी आंसर करेक्ट है हमारा वी हैव गॉट द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर फेब्रवरी मार्च टू केस नंबर टू ऑफ फोर What we need to understand के understanding के कि सर जो हम इसका reason के इस chapter करने का कि हमारे पास एक sample का mean था सर sample mean is coming sixty two point three तो अगर इस base पर estimate करें population का mean तो हमारे पास ninety eight percent confidence interval ये कहता है कि हमारा जो population mean होगा वो between sixty point one to sixty four point five होगा ठीक है sixty point one to sixty sixty point one to sixty four point five होगा and then coming the theoretical part जिसके वजह से हम ये concept कर रहे थे कि state with a reason whether it was necessary to use the central limit theorem in the calculation in part one so you can say कि yes it was necessary हम यहाँ ये लिखेंगे कि yet it yes it was necessary कि आपने central limit theorem use करना था why because population जो थी वो normal नहीं थी ठीक है population distribution was not normal सब कह सकते हैं कि population distribution was unknown okay yes it was necessary because population distribution was unknown or x was unknown okay getting it guys because population distribution was not known ye normal distribution nahi tha population distribution uh, was unknown okay getting it guys clear with me to aapne ek batana hai ke kyunki wo normal distribution nahi tha to humne usko central limit theorem ke jaise jo ke kehta hai ki agar sample size large ho तो आप नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इसको अज्यूम कर सकते हैं तो हमने यही करा है कि पॉपुलेशन वाज नॉट नॉर्मल या पॉपुलेशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वाज अननोन एंड दैट इज व्हाई इट वाज नेसेसरी स्टूडेंट्स टू यूज सेंट्रल लिमिट थ्योरम सो वी हैव डन दिस क्वेश्चन आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द आंसर वी हैव गॉट द करेक्ट आंसर एज वेल एज द इंटरप्रिटेशन कि भाई ये चैप्टर हो क्यों रहा है हम पर्पस क्या है इस चैप्टर का सैंपल के थ्रू पॉपुलेशन का मीन निकाल लें एक सैंपल साइज के बेस पर हम कंप्लीट एरिया की पॉपुलेशन निकाल लें पॉपुलेशन कैन बी एनीथिंग वो हमने लेक्चर वन में डिस्कस किया हुआ है ओके मूविंग फॉरवर्ड ये एक सेकंड केस हो गया अंडरस्टूड टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट एज वेल इफ यू वांट क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी थ्री हो गया हमारा ठीक है नेक्स्ट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इज बेसिकली के देर इज आल्सो अ केस नंबर थ्री सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द केस नंबर थ्री एज वेल के सर केस नंबर थ्री में क्या होता है सो केस नंबर थ्री इज बेसिकली नॉट डिफिकल्ट एंड नथिंग इट्स जस्टिमेट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन मीन एंड वेरियंस लेते हैं क्योंकि इसकी जो है वो हमारे पास सैंपल साइज इसमें भी लार्ज होता है इसकी जो प्रॉपर्टीज हैं वो सर मैं लिख देता हूँ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दिस इज बेसिकली के सैंपल साइज विल बी लार्ज है तो यहाँ पर भी सर सैंपल साइज शुड बी लार्ज ओके कि सैंपल साइज सर लार्ज है एंड द अदर थिंग इज केस नंबर थ्री में यहाँ पर पॉपुलेशन वेरियंस अननोन होता है ठीक है तो दिस इज कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टू केसेज तो यहाँ पर जो प्रॉपर्टी अप्लाई होती है वो ये होती है कि हमारे पास पॉपुलेशन वेरियंस ही अननोन होता है के नाउ वी डोंट नो व्हाट इज द वेरिएंस ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ओके सो पॉपुलेशन वेरिएंस इज बेसिकली अननोन इन द केस नंबर 3 एंड दैट इज व्हाई इसका वैसे अभी कोई पास पेपर क्वेश्चन हम नहीं कर रहे हैं बिकॉज़ आई वाज नॉट एबल टू फाइंड लेकिन हम इसको भी प्रैक्टिस में ले लेंगे बट द वर्किंग इज द सेम आपको कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल निकालना आना चाहिए फॉर 90% 95 98% 92% 90% सेम सो इट्स इट विल बी वर्किंग द सेम इट्स जस्ट के इसमें व्हाट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द फार्मूला क्या अप्लाई होता है and what we have to do is basically it's from the it's this is linked from basically the concept of unbiased estimate of population mean and variance so main aapko explain kar deta hu 
कि फॉर केस नंबर थ्री हम बेसिकली ये वाला अप्लाई कर रहे होते कि हम इसको इस बेसिस पर जस्टिफाई करते कि पॉपुलेशन वेरियंस नोन नहीं है ना तो हम एस ले लेंगे और फिर हम ये एक्स बार जो है वो तो हम लेते ही हैं तो इस केस के अंदर भी सेम वर्किंग होती है फॉर द कॉन्फिडेंस इन ट्रेवल जस्ट फॉर्मूला बन जाता है सर कि वॉट विल बी द फॉर्मूला बिकमिंग एक्स बार माइनस द जेड वैल्यू टाइम्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन सॉरी स्टैंडर्ड जगह एस ले लेंगे ठीक है एक्स बार जो एक्स की सैंपल का जो मीन है वो लिया टाइम्स ऑफ जेड जो कि कॉन्फिडेंस इन ट्रेवल की वैल्यू है और हमने उसको फिर सैंपल से मल्टीप्लाई करा सैंपल वेरियंट से जो पॉपुलेशन का जो ये जो एस आया था अनबायस एस्टिमेट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन मीन एंड वेरियंट आया हम वो यूज करते हैं यहाँ पर तो इट विल बी एस विल बी द स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन डिवाइडेड बाई वही स्क्वायर रूट टेन हो जाएगा कॉमा तो यहाँ पर बस से हम डिफरेंट है वही चीज हम सिर्फ एस यूज कर रहे हैं दैट इज बेसिकली द अनबायस एस्टिमेट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन वेरियंट ओके सो एस एक्स तो ये इसका फॉर्मूला होता है तो जब आप एस फाइन कर लें कभी भी वो ऐसा क्वेश्चन भी पूछ सकते हैं ठीक है गॉड दिस गाइज क्लियर विद मी फॉलोइंग सो नेक्स्ट वी हैव ये केस नंबर वन एंड टू एंड थ्री होगा इसके थ्री केसेस होते हैं जिसपे ज्यादातर जो कॉमन है आई टेल यू वन इज मोर कॉमन केस टू बहुत कॉमन है एंड देन देन इट कम्स द केस वन केस टू इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट एज कम्पेयर टू केस वन एंड केस थ्री ऑल थ्री ऑफ देम कैन बी टेस्टेड Every working is the same in every case. The working will remain the same. Everything remains the same. It's just you should know the concept which case is being applied when the chapter when the examiner asks you a question on the sampling and estimation. Hai, so which which case you are applying? Because that part B me, you can ask a theory theoretical concept. Put can say in which you have to write down the answer. So you might have to write down a theory answer, student, and that is why the knowledge case one, case two, and case three is important. Okay. अंडरस्टैंडिंग ये है कॉन्सेप्ट नंबर फाइव जो के बेसिकली टॉक अबाउट कॉन्सेप्ट नंबर फाइव है विच इज अगेन कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल but this is for the population proportion okay now we are talking about based on the population proportion okay so confidence interval for confidence interval sir for population proportion okay so we have sir confidence interval for population proportion which means ke the binomial theorem binomial binomial sorry binomial theorem to is p1 my bad binomial distribution will come into existence here Okay, sir. This is concept number five, which is completely a different concept. But again, the concept from confidence interval will be applied here. But here we are going to talk about the population proportion. So I'll be given an example how we are going to find out population proportion, confidence interval for the population proportion, in which we'll call that. Let's write down some couple of terminologies important. Some important terminologies are P S here. Okay, sir. What is what does P S stands for? So P S stands for the proportion of the success. How much is the proportion of success? That is basically P S stands for proportion of success. It's basically based on the probability. Okay, proportion means the probability. So we have here confidence interval for the binomial distribution apply. We will get from the S one level. So proportion of success is basically P S stands for. In this, we have no sample mean. No, in this, we have no x bar. No, and in this, we have Q S as well. that is proportion of failure as well okay students so we have proportion of success and we have students proportion of failure and because we already know q stands for failure and p stands for the probability of success okay p stands for probability of success q stands for sir probability of failure so we have that and the formula for this becomes basically sir p s proportion of success माइनस द जेड वैल्यू अगेन जेड रिमेन्स द सेम आपका जो भी कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल होगा आपको उसकी वैल्यू फाइंड करनी होगी तो जेड इज देयर टाइम्स ऑफ मल्टीप्लाई बाय द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एस टाइम्स द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ क्यू एस द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ फेलर एंड डिवाइडेड बाय एन एंड इन दिस केस इट इज द होल ऑन द स्क्वायर रूट जो एन इज बेसिकली द सैम्पल साइज सर एंड इट विल बी स्क्वायर रूट ऑन द होल ऑफ दैट ठीक है तो ये फॉर्मूला है इसका के दैट इज वॉट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड के पी एस माइनस दिस सिमिलरली proportion of success plus the z value to get the confidence interval into ps times of qs divided by square root of n and this will be the case here as well qs is probability of failure we already know n is the sample size students so that is the formula and the case here 
that is probability of s minus this thing and this is what the formula will be application on whether it's 98 percent confidence interval 95 percent 93 percent that is what we have to apply in this case okay so what we are basically what we are saying here is okay jo proportion of success hai, proportion of success is going to follow a normal distribution sir the proportion of success is going to follow a normal distribution which is basically p the probability of success and p is the mean here and probability of success multiplied probability of failure divided by n to wo har cheez jo hai understand ye karna hai students ke sampling and estimation ke chapter mein everything population proportion bhi hoga to wo normal distribution follow karega to all the all the three previous cases as well ya all this case as well ke concept number 5 that we are talking about everything will follow the everything will follow basically a normal distribution because of the sample size being large or based on their properties or based on their understanding ke ye in the uh, ye similarity level pe ya jo hum kehte hain ke long term pe ye basically wohi ban jayega theek hai so let's try to do one question on this as well ke we have i think question number 28 and question number 18 was there yep here we go so follow carefully and we have a very good again two parts is there okay so this is question number 18 i'll give you a couple of minutes to quickly read this question part 1 part 2 and you will understand ke i am what i'm doing is ke first question maine 95% confidence interval nikala next question mein 98% confidence interval nikala ab third question mein hum 92% pe confidence interval nikalenge aur ye proportion ka question hai you can read the word as well hint bhi available hoti hai questions mein and just quickly read the question so we can start working on this this is from 2017 this is a bit bit old question but worth it to do okay so here we go so what we have is basically question number 18 that is may june 2017 sir paper 7 variant 3 what we have to talk about here is basically uh confidence interval but this is concept number 5 application being applied here okay so we can say this concept number 5 application being applied here so we are talking about here is in a random sample of 200 shareholders of a company so sample is how many students always write it down okay sir we have the sample let's write it down here sample is 200 and here we go sir sample is 200 and 103 of them are saying in the sample of 200 shareholders there are 200 shareholders of company 103 are saying that they wanted a change in the management so that is the case here you can easily find out sir what we are going to say that the probability proportion sorry not probability the proportion of success that they want the change in management is 103 over 200 people and the proportion of failure that they want it will be 1 minus 103 over 200 okay getting it students so it will be the proportion of failure will be 1 minus 103 over 200 that is 97 over 200. this must be 100% clear let me just put them in the highlighted box as well okay so this is the case and this is the case here as well okay understood got this clear so here we go success and the failure that we are talking about next what we have to talk about is basically sir we have to the word proportion here find an approximate so we have to find an approximate 92% confidence interval we have to find students find an approximate 92% confidence interval for the proportion p okay so we have to find a approximate 92% confidence interval for the proportion p <laughs> of all the shareholders who want a change in the management so the word itself will suggest you that you have to work out concept number 5 here that is proportion at 92% confidence interval we will definitely work that out or let's first work that out sir here okay, if you are working about 92% confidence interval what is going to happen students so 92% confidence interval mean <coughs> Ninety-two percent confidence intervals mean here. Okay, here we go. It is basically 
92% confidence interval is this thing. So we can say that 4% is this equally distributed and 4% is the students. So it will be the, this is zero point. If I shared this part students, so this is basically 0 0.04. So the probability from this to the left hand side will be 0 0.96. Follow carefully in the highlighter, sir. The probability from here to the left hand side is sir, 0 0.96. Here we go. Probability is the 0 0.96. And that is what we have to find, sir. The Z value when the probability is 0 0.96 will be, let's quickly work this out. The Z value when the probability will be 96. So we can clearly see 0 0.9599 probability is here. So, sir, it will be simple. 1.7. Okay, everyone. 1.75. And you have to just add one in it. So 1.751 is the Z value. Okay, students. 1.751 is the Z value, students. Sir, 1.751, you write it down. That is, you have got the marks here. Now, just plugging in the formula. What was the formula, sir, for the confidence interval of population proportion? The proportion of success, this thing. Okay, this thing is the formula for that. So here we go. It will be 103. One, so it will be 103 over 200 minus the Z value 1.751 times of 103 over 200 times of 97 over 200 divided divided by 200 and you have to put the whole square root on that okay because that will be the very you have to put the whole square root on this students okay next thing will be comma and you are going to do it the other way now 103 over 200 plus 1.751 into this thing again repetition divided by 200 and 103 over 200 and 97 over 200 okay so make sure it's very important to get this correct okay now plug in the values and you will get the final answer so again the population of the proportion of the success will lie between it will be 103 over 200 minus the z value 1.751 or let's do it 1.751 into 103 over 200 1.751 into value of 1.751 1, 1 multiplied by square root 103 over 200 into 103 over 200 times of 97 over just have to do with the calculator whatever the value is coming so it's coming uh 103 over 200 minus this answer so i'm getting something 0 0.45 okay so 0 0.45 we can give it this this time we should give it to basically two decimal places or three decimal places so we'll give it to three decimal places 0 0.453 is the lower value and you can say that uh once we get 0 0.0618 plus that value will be the upper value will be 0 0.57 six eight so you can round it off to five seven seven so these are the at 92 percent confidence interval we are going to get this value okay students understood here we go what we need to understand this is again explanation that is of the population proportion okay how do you find the confidence interval and how will you get the marks on finding out confidence interval and when you have to use this formula for the proportion of success and failure we have to state the probability next part, state the probability that 92% confidence interval does not contain P. So basically in simple words, they are saying, what we are saying is basically, there is the probability, the 92% confidence interval, the 92% probability or 92% confidence interval that the population will be, uh, the proportion will be the P, the proportion P will be, or the probability P will be lying between 0 0.453 or 0 0.577, between 0 0.453 and 0 0.577. So what will be the probability that it will not contain P? So it's very simple as we have always talked about from the basic statistics, basic probability it will be one minus the 92%. Agar jo P, jo P ko contain karta hai, wo 92% pe contain karta hai, proportion of P ko is value pe, that will be sir 8% or you can say 0. 08 as well for one mark. Okay, that's what you have to state. Okay, 8% chances that proportion P jo hai, 
या प्रॉबिलिटी पी जो है या प्रपोशन पी जो है वो उसमें उसमें नहीं होगा ठीक है अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट क्लियर विथ मी फॉलोइंग 92% परसेंट प्रॉबिलिटी इज देयर दैट द प्रपोशन पी विल बी बिटवीन जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव थ्री एंड जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सेवन सेवन बट देर इज एट परसेंट चांस दैट इट विल नॉट कंटेन द प्रपोशन पी दैट इज एट परसेंट इज द आंसर फॉर दैट वंस यू गॉट दिस वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड कपल ऑफ मोर प्रैक्टिस इज रिक्वायर्ड वॉट वी कैन से दस कॉन्सेप्ट नंबर सिक्स वी कैन कॉल विच इज बेसिकली नथिंग बट जस्ट अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट एज वेल कॉन्सेप्ट नंबर सिक्स लेट्स कॉल इट Concept number six is basically a lot of time the examiner asks you which question you have to find. Up till now, every question that we have done is basically find the find the confidence interval. The examiner can ask you to find the confidence interval now in the last part that they can ask that the concept can be up till now whatever questions are confidence interval we have solved basically the confidence interval was given. So now it's possible that you will have to find the confidence interval. you will be asked to find confidence interval so how we can do that we need to work that concept out as well okay so this one is the last case that we can call it is not a case not a concept okay it's the basic part okay uh, and it can come in any case any concept as well so we have to find the uh, percentage that is the confidence interval percentage so let's have a look at one of the another question on confidence interval that is this one with population proportion okay so here we go sir this is question number 20 may june 2018 this is again from may june 2018 i'll give you a couple of minutes to read it or a couple of seconds to quickly read this question and then we are going to solve this this is basically concept number 6 confidence uh, finding out the percentage of the confidence interval i hope everyone have read the question this is may june 2018 and it's about link with the proportion uh, population proportion as well that is basically a researcher a researcher wishes to estimate the proportion so there is a researcher sir who is wishing to estimate the proportion the word itself will tell that's a proportion question the proportion it's basically you have to talk about the proportion here sir and it will be number of houses in london road number of the houses number of houses in london road that have only one occupant okay so there are how many houses in london road that have only one occupant so random sample is of 64 houses okay students so sample is of 64 houses and uh, sir sample is of 64 houses in london road and finds that eight houses in the sample only have one occupant so you should stop here and write it down that this is sir basically the proportion of success that 8 out of 64 proportion of success is basically sir 8 out of 64 is basically only one occupant in the 64 houses the 64 sample houses that you have taken only 8 houses have only one occupant so it will be sir you can find out quickly the proportion of failure as well that is basically qs so 1 minus 8 over 64 will be the case over 1 minus 8 over 64 that will be 7 over 8 or you can write it down as 7 over 8 or basically you can write it down as basically uh 64 minus 8 is what 56 over 8 as 56 over 64 as well okay both of them is the same thing <clears throat> then using this sample what we have to do students sir using this sample we have to calculate an approximate confidence interval for which the p proportion p has width so now the width is given so always remember you uh, what is the purpose of the width so width will help you find that confidence interval which is a five mark question so it's a huge question it's a five marks question so let's try to solve this by using the width formula for the population proportion okay so here we go sir so please understand that what will be the width formula for the proportion here sir so width will be equals to it's just the same thing it will be sir 2 times of z 
that the confidence interval z value okay so two times of z into basically square root of proportion of success times of proportion of failure proportion of success times of proportion of failure divided by the sample sir and over the square root okay so it will be over a square root okay that's what we have to apply here for the proportion population proportion that is the width formula for this thing okay getting it so you can understand that the width formula will change for every case and although the work method is the same it's just different terminologies we are using that is the width formula for this thing so let's try to apply the width formula to get our answer okay so here we go sir so width will be the width is equals to 0 0.130 is equals to two times of the z two times of z times of what we have is square root values we'll have to do the square root here sir that is basically what we can say is 8 over 64 times of 7 over 8 divided by 7 over 8 time divided by 64 that is the sample size so let's try to work this out okay students so it will be uh, what we can say first thing will be 2 divided there or first let's multiply 2 with the square root okay students i'm multiplying 2 with the square root so it will be 2 times of this whole thing in the square root in the calculator sir 2 times of square root 8 over 64 times of 7 over 8 and what we need is basically uh, 8 over 64 times of 7 over 8 divided by 64. So I'm getting it as 0 0.08. Basically, I'm going to get this as 0 0.08267 times of Z. So let's try to work out the Z value by dividing them, sir. So Z value is going to come out, students. 0 0.130 divided by that whole answer. So I'm getting Z value as 1.571, okay? So 1.5723, uh, so 1.572, let's take it that. Yep, 1.572 is the Z value coming, students, okay? Z value is coming 1.572. So this is almost two or three marks, okay? Because this is still not the percentage of the confidence interval. So now comes the difficult part that we have to go in the opposite way this time, sir. We will have to go, sir, the opposite way. So follow carefully, students. I'm going to draw the normal distribution here. And you're going to follow. So this Z value means this Z value, basically, we need to find the confidence interval. The Z value basically means, students, that this is that Z value of here. Because we always get the probability of Z value less than. You just opposite. Jana how did the kya kare the pehla hamare paas z value aari thi first we are finding the z value students if you look at this question ke pehle hum z value find kare the aur fir hum apna probability ke through nikal lete so now we already have the z value aur hame jo hai basically sir uh, we have to go the opposite way to get that so sir z value of here is basically 1.572 so i can use this follow very carefully students i can use this z value to get this whole probability okay i can use this z value which is here to get the whole probability of this area, which will be more than confidence interval. We already know confidence interval are between them. Confidence interval will be the lower lower value and the upper value. But this whole area will come. So let's try to find that first. Okay. So when the Z value is basically 1.572, what is basically the probability, sir? So the probability that is coming students for 1.572. So we go for 1.5. 1.5 z value 7 is this and 2 will be this it will be 0 0.9418 plus 0 0.002 so 0 0.9418 let's put in the calculator 0 0.9418 plus 0 0.002 so i'm getting 0 0.942 so here we go sir 0 0.942 is the probability coming here okay so we are getting this this is the whole probability this whole probability sir is 0 0.942 Follow very carefully, students. I'm marking this in the this whole thing, this whole shaded part is sir 0 0.942. So what you can expect follow in the dark color, in the let's call the black color. Okay. So in the black color, the black color probability will be, sir. Make sure you show this all working, sir. And it will be black color probability one minus zero point one minus zero point nine four two will be the black color probability. And once you got this, which is coming 0 0.058, 0 
this probability is coming, sir, 0 0.058. It will be exactly same value here as well, sir, that this black color will now be, this black color will now be, sir, 0 0.058. 0 0.058, this black color, because it's equal on both sides, the confidence interval. So this value is now 0 0.058. So you can basically subtract these two. So it will be, sir, 1 minus 2 times of, 1 minus 2 times of 0 0.058. And I will get the per pro probability. I will get the confidence interval area. Okay, students, 1 minus, 1 minus 2 times of 0, 0.0. Why 2 times of 1 this and 1 this? So 2 times of 0 0.058, Karenge. Or usko phir jo hai, one se minus kar denge. So I am getting basically 0 0.884, which is sir basically this probability. Let's do it in the red, let's do it in the uh, orange color. This is 0. Point, this is coming as sir 0 0.884. And you can now write it down in terms of percentage. This will be sir almost 88.4% because we give the answer to the nearest integer. They have written here that we have to give the answer to the nearest integer, sir. So it will be the alpha value or the confidence interval is basically 88%. Okay, students. So the confidence interval is basically confidence interval is basically 88%. So the nearest integer with this, this question is completed. We have got five marks. This is very important. Recent papers, they are testing this again and again. And one question, if you get this, so you can try to do other questions of, as well for this thing. So this is basically sampling and, sampling and estimation done. Any questions can be asked in the comment section. We have done concept number one, concept number two, till concept number six. Make sure the most important thing from this chapter is confidence interval. Try to practice that. And because this chapter sometimes comes with hypothesis testing as well, the hypothesis testing, the last chapter and the most difficult one that students think. So we'll talk about that, work on that. At the moment it is done, all the concepts, past papers on that related to that queries, questions, anything can be asked. Make sure to practice confidence interval. Thank you. Take care. Love is bye. Love is sir.